Let us pray. We come to you in prayer, O God, grateful that you know our needs, including special concerns this morning for Maria, Bess, Karina, Kim, Hava, the ill, the brokenhearted, the bereaved. But most of all today, we come to you overflowing with the joyful promise you have given us in Easter. You've been with us through our Holy Week, and Good Friday brought us once again face to face with the depths of human cruelty and evil, exposing the suffering that has continued since that day on Calvary until today, as innocents continue to be slaughtered, often in the name of religion or civic law and order. For nearly 2,000 years, the carnage has continued, sometimes on a massive scale, even in the lifetime of several of us gathered here in worship today, as when six million of your Jewish children were killed, put to death, Oscar Romero assassinated, and the nuns raped and killed in El Salvador, or 8,000 Muslim boys and men were murdered in Bosnia, and just in this past week, hundreds wounded and over 30 killed by terrorists. It is easy to see why so many of your children live in fear. Forgive us, O God, for still we know not what we do. But Easter startles us, showing us new heavens, a new earth, and a love even more powerful than all the unspeakable suffering and death. Your prophets looked into your future to see the wolf and the lamb feeding together, the lion and the ox both feasting on hay, and your children living in peace on earth, where no more is the sound of weeping to be heard or cries of distress, and hurt and destruction are memories of the past. In your new creation, We'll sing and joy our thanks eternally, when after 10,000 years we'll still have no less days to sing your praise. There we'll see old enemies seeking forgiveness from all your children whom they killed, your saints and martyrs of every faith, like Martin Luther King, Jr., Michael Schwerner, Andrew Goodman, James Cheney, Emmett Till, Eric Garner, and all the rest. And because your love will then be written on every human heart, mercy will prevail, and all that is broken and dead will be made whole and alive again. This is the hope we hear this morning in Easter. And until that jubilee comes on earth, let each of us here today resist all the Caesars and high priests, the bombers and oppressors, the discriminators and destroyers, anyone who denies the full humanity of all your children, not as we would have them be, but as you have created them. Let us not be bullied by the past or by ignorance and fear, hating those not like us, denying others the identity you have given them. With your Easter promise of justice and joy within us, let us live our days turning toward you, leading others one by one out of the cemeteries of old centuries into your new and beloved and everlasting community where all are loved and welcomed. All are rejoicing that your love and righteousness and grace are alive and well, more powerful than all our evil at its worst. Thank you, O oh God, for Easter. This and all the silent prayers in each of our hearts we bring to you in prayer. Amen. <laughs> 